Hi, this is Joe Boy, and some of you have been watching my videos about my aquaponic setup. And uh, three weeks ago, we built an aquaponic setup. It took us three days to build it, and now we are growing stuff. And so I kind of wanted to give people an idea of how we build it and what we've been doing. Um, today's video is a little bit about the maintenance and cleaning and taking care of the aquaponic system. Normally, it takes about three minutes a day. A day. Uh, today, it's going to be a little bit longer because we're actually going to clean the swirl filter. Um, so first we'll take a look at the tank. We built an automatic feeder that will feed the fish twice a day and we've got the preset amount of how much to feed it. If you take a look inside you'll see that we got some fish in there. Um, there's a big one in the back but he's probably hard to see. And we have a floating bed of lettuce. And the floating bed is a style of um, growing where the roots go right into the water um, they don't receive a lot of oxygen except for the aeration. I'm going to go ahead and turn the pump back on, and that what aerates the roots and the fish. The fish may eat the um, uh, roots. That's okay. We're still getting enough baby lettuce for our sandwiches and hamburgers and so forth. Um, back this way is my MTF uh, track. So far, we've got a variety of tomatoes, and we've got some cucumber that we just planted, and um, We've got some strawberries and just a variety of different styles to see um, what will grow better. Back along this side is the sump tank. Um, the sump tank to clean out is pretty much just taking off the filter um, and rinsing it out. And then we put the filter back on. I feed the fish uh, twice a day. This one I actually manually have to feed. Um, and it's just goldfish, so I just put a couple flakes in. Back over here, we've got a variety of uh, stuff coming up. We've got kale, we've got um, scallions, some strawberry, um, let's see, looks like some romaine, some spring, um, some more kale. Back along here, some more spring. Um, uh, let's see, I've got green beans, sugar snap peas, a variety of spinach. So, a whole lot of stuff that we're working on and is doing well. Um, to share with a sump tank, we've got the large tank underneath here that can share the water line and that spills right in the sump tank. So right now we have a little bit of rainwater, that's okay. It can go right in the sump tank, it's not going to destroy the whole system, it's not going to destroy the world. Now the major cleanup, this is the dirtiest part of the job, is the swirl filter. So I'm going to open this up. It takes just a second to pull this out because it's pretty much airtight. And inside there is all the fish poo. And we're going to go ahead and just swirl it around a little bit. And if you notice how the, uh, the angle of the pipes are, I'm angling my down, which is very different than most of the people's videos on YouTube. But this is very much similar to a septic tank system. I'm going to turn this valve on. This valve drains all the way to a hole to my front yard, which is where my uh, soil garden is. And I just have to let this drain for five minutes. And that will be enough to clean out enough of it. And that's how you do the maintenance. It's relatively simple. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me at joeboy at yctp.com. Take a look at my YouTube channel or find me on Facebook.